everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider Chronicles playthrough. Today we are playing through the level Escape with the Iris. So just a really brief recap, Lara has broken into Von Croy Industry Headquarters. So this is a company owned by Werner Von Croy and his father, Von Croy Sr. There, Von Croy is discovering the iris artifact that both he and Lara found in Cambodia all those years ago, and Lara wanted to steal it back from him. So at the end of the last level, we had just stolen the iris, and now our goal is to make it out of the building with the artifact. I'm really excited for this level. I think this one's a little bit easier than the previous one, hopefully, so let's just get into it. Okay, you've been a bad girl. And before I tell you what your punishment is, I just want to say that there's no point in arguing, because I ain't gonna be listening. <laughs> Take all your metal items, yes, guns is metal, and put them in the tray, now. So you're telling me to disarm myself in a building crawling with armed guards? Now, if I was listening, which I ain't, like I told you before, I would counteract this argument by alerting the person asking me this to the fact her guns ain't any use against ten-foot-tall walking tanks anyway. <laughs> but I ain't listening, so I ain't saying nothing. I'm doing it, but if you mess this up... All right, I'm listening again. And trust me, I ain't gonna mess this up, okay? Do I have a choice? I absolutely love that exchange between Lara and Zip. So just in summary, Zip says that Lara needs to put all her metal items, including her guns, into the tray. So this thing over here. Lara says in disbelief that Zip wants her to disarm herself in a building full of armed guards. I mean, it does sound kind of counterproductive, doesn't make much sense. Zip tells her that her guns are useless anyway against 10 foot walking tanks. I presume there he's referring to those VCI soldiers with the big gun suit things. Which is not true because we have taken a few of those out already with our guns, so that's incorrect. Lara tells Zip that he better not mess this up. So here is where we have to put down our guns. We're not going to have guns for most of this level uh, because if we go through this kind of x-ray thing with our guns, um, any kind of metal on us, uh, this is what happens. And yeah, it'll just keep shooting us until we die. So uh, yeah, we need to leave the guns. Okay, and just before we do that, I know you can open this now, I think. It's supposed to pop open later, but I can't fully remember if there might be a bug with that or not. So let's just see if we can open it now, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so that's where we're going to pop down from later. And actually, could you use that as a shortcut? Oh, I think so. Maybe. But anyway, I just wanted to open it um, just in case. Just in case there's a bug later. Okay. So we are gunless and we can see there's a bomb in that suitcase but we're safe to open this one to get a medipack <laughs> the galara skeleton it's so funny i don't like to be the bearer of bad tidings but the stairs are out unless you bulletproof you ain't bulletproof are you what about the lifts well, the lift is going down, and normally, when trying to escape somewhere, ain't it clever to head in the direction of the exit? Like the roof? Right. That'd be clever, like making me ditch my guns. Ouch. Yeah, maybe you better start looking for some weapons. Hey, don't sweat, girl. The man will save you. Hasn't happened yet. 
So Zip tells Lara over the headset that the stairs and lifts are out unless she's bulletproof and that she needs to head to the roof to escape. Which they kind of act like the roof would be the only exit and that like heading down would be silly but I mean there would be an exit down as well like on the ground floor there'd be an exit but anyway the exit for us is on the roof is what they mean <laughs> and then they have one of my favorite lines at the end there they did cut it off a bit in this for some reason but zip basically says don't sweat a girl the man will save you and lara responds hasn't happened yet <laughs> i love sassy lara Okay, so we can't go this way because there are invisible lasers here. Now, apparently, uh, if we equip our headset, which I actually didn't remember that we had. So if we equip our headset, we can, we can like zoom in on stuff. Um, and if we press action, it'll do like infrared um, and it'll show us things like lasers. So you can see the lasers across we cannot go that way okay and then one more thing here is there's a security monitor i do believe here is this it yeah so we can see one of those uh suit guys out there that's where we're going to head later okay so let's just get stuck into the level um, oh, now there's a good few offices here. There's the toilets. We need to go in there. Um, okay, so we got chloroform. Which we need. I don't remember which thing has like stuff in it and which don't so I'm gonna just have to search them all <gasps> oh my god that gave me such a fright Okay, so we have chloroform and cloth. Uh, oh, there's nothing else in here. But check out the, the skyline. Really, really cool. New York skyline. Oh, that doesn't open. Okay. Um, so let's just take this guy out. And then we'll check the rest of the offices. Oh, he's so close. I wasn't expecting him to be right there. <laughs> Great. I don't know why it sounds like she snaps their necks when she uses a chloroform. Like, she's only supposed to be knocking them out. Calm down, Lara. Jeez. Right. Uh, I don't remember which office, honestly. That doesn't open. Okay, access card. That's what we needed. More chloroform. That will more than likely come in handy later. And I don't remember if there's anything in here. Let's just double check. Ooh. Ooh. The angles. What is with the camera angles? Stop it. How 
How can she have nothing? How can she have taken nothing? There's clearly bottles of chloroform there. Mm, I call bull. Okay. Let's go... Go into the bathroom. <laughs> Guess we need a toilet break. You know, it's been a while. Okay. So, no. the... I want to look at it. It's going too fast. So the code is A526. Okay, so eight, five, two, six. Great. So I'm pretty sure there's just a pickup in the women's toilet. Is it in the middle? Yeah. Okay, and then we need to go into the- oh she's stuck in a sink. Oh she doesn't want to leave, she's not done. <laughs> she's not done yet. Um, so now we need to go into the men's toilet. And I'm pretty sure this is here. Again, this is one of those things that's like impossible to figure out. Like, how are you supposed to figure that out? How? How to Raider, let's not be silly. Oh, I need to go this way. What's... Oh, what's down there? I don't remember this bit. Oh. Can I... No, I can't pull up. Oh, what am I doing? Why has it got... Dangerous music? Oh, it's the... Elevator shaft. Oh, I probably shouldn't um, just jump out into it. That's probably a terrible idea. Yep, that would have been a terrible, terrible idea. Um, oh, there's a secret here, isn't there? I think if we go all the way down to the end, we can just drop in. Yeah, okay, easy done this uh i don't want to jinx it and i probably am jinxing it now but this level's going much better than the previous one i know i always regret saying stuff like that but um do you know what i'm feeling adventurous today <laughs> we'll see okay that took a long time but we're finally at the top <laughs> um what does it look like? Oh, it's just the black abyss down there. Okay. Definitely do not want to fall. Oh, sugar. Well, there we go. There we go. Oh, there. Okay. I wasn't, um pressing action quick enough okay that makes sense that makes sense okay oh no no oh okay yay right done uh i'm pretty sure there's a pick up here oh yeah here it is blends in really really well with the <laughs> the lift great okay that went fine <laughs> what was that noise oh my god Hello? <gasps> oh 
my god. Okay. Maybe if we're just really quiet? I don't think he'll- he'll notice us. <laughs> Although how he can't hear this is beyond me. But anyway. Whew. Okay. Okay, take me away. Okay, oh, okay. So this, this is one where if you're a sensible person, you just press the button again, close the doors and get off this floor because we've no guns and these guys are just shooting us, taking all our health. But there is two large medipacks behind them and you can run and try and get them if you want to. I'm kind of feeling like a maniac today and I kind of want to get them. So uh, let's give it a go. <laughs> this is probably a terrible, terrible idea. Okay, go. Oh, no. No! Whoa. Oh god. Pick it up! Pick it up, Lara! Oh, damn. Well, I mean, technically I did pick them both up. Oh, screw you. Screw you. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Okay. Oh, come on. Oops. Oh no, I almost did it. Oh, damn. Guys, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh god, come on, come on! Jesus! Grab the flippin' medipack! <sighs> Okay, I'm having this be my last attempt. I have tried this too much. It's too hard. This is my last one, okay? Oh no. No, it's gone wrong again. Ah. Uh, no, I give up. It's too hard, I give up. Right, so we're not doing that. That's too hard. Do let me know in the comments if you did manage to do that because, wow, that's tough. That's impressive. Okay, ooh. So let's just, let's just go. <laughs> okay, so lift is plummeting. Yikes. You, you ain't dead, is you? Come on, girl, answer me. Oh, gonna be sore in the morning. <laughs> I knew you was too tough for a little fall like that. Uh, I'm on the ground floor, aren't I? Bing, ground floor. Depart here for gun toting refrigerator men and long walk back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girl, you got it. But hell, you in one piece, ain't you? Oh, poor Lara. Okay, so let's go through what happened there. So the elevator cable snaps and the car plummets to the ground floor. Lara activates the emergency brake, stopping the elevator from, you know, crashing into the ground at a high speed and preventing her own death. <laughs> Zip asks Lara if she's dead. Lara says she's going to be sore in the morning. Zip says he knew she was too tough to die in a fall like that. Lara says that she's now on the ground floor, isn't she? 
Zip confirms and said she's in for gun toting refrigerator men and a long walk back upstairs. Okay, so we have to start from scratch again now and climb the whole way back up as if this wasn't hard enough already. Uh, so... Do we go down here? Oh, do I jump across here maybe? No, clearly not. Oh, hang on, do I swing on this maybe? Yeah. Great. And climb up here. But yeah, no, seriously, let me know if you managed to get those two medipacks because I just found that impossible. I tried so many times. Could not do it. There's um, another bit later where you can try and get a many pack as well in a similar situation. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do that either. Too difficult. Um, right, where do we go from here? Backflip? Oh, sugar! Uh, I can't see where it is. Is this where it is? Oh yeah, okay, that worked. Right. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go from here? Oh, hang on. I see a little, um, a little opening here. Okay. Where's it? Oh. <gasps> oh, sugar. Sugar, I see, I saw the pole. I saw what I was meant to grab. Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, there's fire coming out of that. Right. Okay, go, go, go. And there's fire coming out of here. Oh god, this is making me really motion sick. Oh god, please, yeah, please stop. Thank you. Ooh. Oh my god, that was, um, that was unpleasant. <laughs> right. I don't know, I can't tell yet if this level is going well or not. It is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. Ooh. This would be terrifying though, in actuality. Imagine tightrope walking through an elevator shaft with a massive drop. No way. Ooh. Come on, Lara. Oh. Oh, no, no! <gasps> I'm not having this today. Great. <laughs> Done. More chloroform. Yay. Oh my god, these levels just stress me out. They stress me out. 
What hell is down here? Why are we going down? We're supposed to be going up. What the? Where am I supposed to be going? Where am I going? Hello? Asta! <sighs> Where? Oh! Oh, we're meant to go this way. Oh, there's just a secret in here. Shoot me. Hello? Thank you. <gasps> This is ridiculous. Okay. Right, we got the secret. Let's keep running. So, I guess I was going the wrong way the first time. I don't know. This all just seems really unfair, doesn't it? I'm not happy with this. Oh! So, no, 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 no! Stop it! Actually, stop! Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, I'm not having a good time with this. I'm not impressed with these levels at all. Right, let's go. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Where am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to get up? What's going on? Oh, stop. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm basically dead. Right, let's use this to look around then. Where am I supposed to go? Hang on, I can climb up. I can climb up there. <gasps> what an arsehole. So, is there like a button I'm supposed to press or something? Is there a... Oh! Sorry, no, sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. Is there a button? Is there a button somewhere here? Stop. Stop. Yeah, that, that was a great idea, Suzanne. That worked really well. Ah, stop! There's a button up there. Oh, hang on. There's a gap here. Can I reach that? Can I climb this? <gasps> oh, I can. Oh, okay. I found it. Hang on. <sighs> yeah, I need, I need more life. Oh, this is not going well. Stop it. Oh, no. Stop. Right, what am I doing now? Oh, I remember. I remember, I remember. We should try and get the sniper to shoot this, haven't we? <gasps> there we go. That's done. <laughs> and that's the last secret. <sighs> oh my god, I'm stressed. That's all the secrets though, isn't it? Yeah, we got three out of three. Okay, all the secrets are done. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Stressed out. Stressed out. Right. Oh, stop it. Right. Um. Oh yeah, the floor in here is electrified, isn't it? So, 
Um, we need, oh, we need that fella to shoot this. There we go. And that, oh, stop. Stop it. So that, oh, come on. Give me a break. <gasps> You're doing good, girl. But just you hold there a minute. I'm checking for something. Zip, they're coming through the door with welding torches. Yeah, yeah, just gotcha. Top corners of the room, motion trackers. Fast movement triggers them. So take it easy. Well. Oh my god, I have like no life left. Okay, so just really quickly what happened there. So the floor in that room was electrified, so we had to get the guard to shoot the water tank to release the water, which like kind of broke the electric floor. I don't know, made it not electric anymore so we could get out. Now we're trapped in this room and Lara tells Zip that the VCI employees are cutting through the door with welding equipment. Zip informs her that the room she's in is rigged with motion sensors and advises her to move slowly so as not to activate the gun turrets. So if we run in this room, it'll activate gun turrets, which will kill us. Uh, so we have to walk and move very, very slowly to push these two switches so we can get out. And this is the point where you can go for another crazy medipack again if you want. I'll probably just try and get to the medipack to show you guys where it is if you want to try yourself. Judging by how I'm doing on this, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. It's too hard. I can't. Okay, so let me... Let me take this medipack and then we'll walk and do these switches. Okay, keep your nerve, keep your nerve. It's so hard to walk when you know you're under time pressure. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this. Ooh, stop it! No! Jeez! Stop! Oh! But did you see the many packets just down the corridor there? So if you want to run through all of this craziness, get down to that corridor and grab the medi pack and then run back. Go for it. Uh, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I couldn't even get close to the medipack. Right. Okay, let's go. Oh! Stop it! Right. Let's just go. Get away from that. <gasps> uh, where am I going? Oh! Hello? Okay. Jeez, I am stressed out. Right, so he's not gonna follow us in here. Um, so this is where, this is exciting. This is where we find out that the iris can teleport. So this is the iris teleportation machine. <laughs> work brain, work. Um, so yeah, let's find the disc to use it and then let's teleport out of here. Okay, so I think this is the tile here. I hope you guys could see the medipack properly. Uh, I realized I like messed up showing you where it was, but yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't doing that again. <laughs> Too difficult. Too difficult for me. Right, so... Oh yeah, so this turns on the x-ray machine so we can see which ones have bombs and which ones have the disc which is really cool or you can just trial and error it if you want as well you can just save it and then open each one until you find the right one that's also an option uh, oh should we actually see what happens if Lara opens it hang on Sure, why not? That's what happens. Poor Lara. 
Okay, so this is the right one. <gasps> so if we go over here and use the it's called the teleporter disc. Okay, and then we place the iris into the teleporter and we get to see it in action. So cool. So that's how we learned that, you know, the iris must have these teleportation abilities and we can guess that that's probably how Von Croy survived in Cambodia. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Now, you want to get yourself in a position where you can see the keypad. Because once every three or four cycles, Mr. Mobile Refrigerator there is going to type one, in the code. One, five, seven, you two. Say. You got it, baby. One, five, I seven, just two. full of vital information. You're full of something. Without <laughs> me, lady, you'd be just some has-been hanging by your <laughs> cuticles over a spike pit in some armpit backwater country. Sounds preferable. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I do believe that was 1572, but let's just spy on him again to make sure. One. Oh, sorry. Six, seven, two, star. Okay, one, six, seven, two. Gotcha. Okay, let's go. Can he see us if we just stand here? <gasps> Damn it! Okay. I can't see. Okay, let's go, go, go. Now there is a bottle of chloroform behind us that you can pick up as well if you want, but I still have some chloroform from earlier, so I'm not gonna bother um, picking it up because we'd have to pick it up, go back in and hide, wait for him to come around again and then come out. I don't wanna do that. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get it done. Seven, two, there. Okay. Please say I was quick enough. Please, 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 please. No, no, I'm not. <gasps> Use. No. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, so we've got one, six, seven, two. Yeah, I think maybe I needed to just run a little bit more. Okay. No. Sugar. No. Sugar. Sugar! No! Wait, what? Oh my god, he didn't see me. 
you know what? That works. Let's go with that. How on earth did he not see me? Maybe I can wait for him to come back in and sneak up behind him. Hang on. If I stand up here, will he see me? Will he hear me? Oh. Crap. Well then, I mean, I guess I just have to wait for him... Wait for him to leave then. Let's just wait for him to leave again. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's just wait for him to go. And then I think we just need to... Like push a button or something and then leave so it should be okay <sighs> we started off so well okay we can't get out that way we started off so well and then it all just went wrong here we go here's the button Okay, so that basically just turned off the, uh, what would you call it, x-ray scanner kind of thing uh, from the very start of the level that made us have to put our guns down. So now we just pop out of the tile we opened earlier just to make sure we weren't stuck. And now we should be able to reclaim our weapon and go on through. Okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give my guns. Thank you. And there we go, we can pass through safely. That was an ordeal. Now, those lasers are still there, so we can't go that way. Uh, oh, that's actually... We came out that other way earlier. That's the one with the two with the two lifts. Oh, I see. I see. Right. And so now we need to shoot this to cause an explosion here. And I've no idea. I've no idea why. Does shooting a fire extinguisher cause an explosion? I don't think it does. I don't think fire extinguishers explode like that, do they? They're supposed to put out fires. Anyway, that's really not the point, Suzanne. <laughs> anyway, this is the end of the level. We're going to get a cutscene now, so let's just sit back and enjoy the cutscene. Permission to enter, sir. I have important news on the situation regarding the intruder. It, uh, it seems she's managed to evade my men and remove the iris, sir. Incompetence? Where is this intruder now? Or have you mislaid her once more? Last visual contact in the lobby, sir. Last visual contact? So you have lost her again. Find her! Find her now! All exits are blocked. There is no need for these histrionics. Do we have identification yet? Only visual, sir. No need. I know who the intruder is. Lara Croft. Ah, your past once more comes back to haunt you, Werner. Foolish boy. No matter. She will not escape. Place the building under full alert. Okay, so let's do a brief cutscene explanation. A VCI guard approaches a door and presses the intercom button. He asks for permission to enter and says he has important news about the intruder. The guard is permitted to enter and as he walks through the door, we see Werner von Croy and von Croy Sr. Werner von Croy is in a wheelchair here and I assume that's because he was 
very badly hurt during the incident in Cambodia. And then by the time the events of Last Revelation happen, he's healed enough that he only needs a walking stick for his legs. I assume that's what they were going for with that. So a bit about Von Croy Sr. Von Croy Sr. is Werner's father and the head of Von Croy Industries. I did find a little bit more info actually about Von Croy Industries. So Von Croy Industries produces high-tech equipment and technology sometimes for the US military. So I assume that's why they're so intent on studying the iris and its teleportation abilities because that is something that of course would be very useful for any military to have. So Von Croy Sr. was the curator of Vienna's museum in Austria and is responsible for introducing Werner to ancient artifacts. So I don't know how Von Croy Sr. went from curator of the museum in Vienna to head of this big Von Croy Industries technology company for the military. I have no idea how that happened, but it just did. <laughs> but it makes sense that he was creator at the museum and that then sparked Werner Von Croy's interest in artifacts and archaeology. So the VCI guard tells the Von Croy's that the intruder has managed to evade his men and remove the iris. Werner is furious and asks where the intruder is now. The guard says that they had last visual contact in the lobby. Werner tells them to find her and find her now. A large screen descends from the ceiling. Von Croy Sr. says calmly that all exits are blocked and there's no need to be melodramatic. Well, he actually says there's no need for histrionics, but that's basically what that means. <laughs> Von Croy Sr. asks if they have identification on the intruder. The guard says that they only have a visual and footage plays on the screen of Lara moving throughout the hallways. Werner says there is no need for identification. He knows who the intruder is. It's Lara Croft. Von Croy Sr. calls Werner a foolish boy and says his past has come back to haunt him. Von Croy Sr. says, no matter, she will not escape and places the entire building under full alert. So as you can tell, the next level is gonna be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> oh, red alert is... That's a hell of a level. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, I have to admit. It's gonna be a nightmare, but it'll be fine. We'll get through it. We'll get through it together. <laughs> Hopefully we have enough medipacks and ammo to actually finish it. We'll see. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you really, really soon in the final video of Chronicles.